Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today we're going to discuss one of the new features in Adobe InDesign, Column Rules. This is a great new addition to InDesign where you can now add individual rules within a text frame rather than draw them out uh, individually in the gutters of an individual text frame. So I'm going to show you what I mean in a second. I'm going to take you through two examples where we're going to do kind of like a sidebar, horizontal sidebar, and I'll add some stylish rules within that text frame and then this is really uh, a useful tool as well when you're working with big bodies of text such as a story or large body copy okay so on my screen here I just have a simple magazine style layout um, I'm working on a4 document size that doesn't matter you can do this with any size that you want but I'm gonna start down here I'm gonna zoom in here and we're gonna focus in on this area here so I've what I have here are three tips for easier cooking when hosting a an event like a dinner party so I have a text frame here and basically the first thing I'm gonna do I have my copy already inserted already placed inside that text frame and I'm just gonna simply go up to my control panel up here and change the columns from one to three and I'll fix all this in a second but basically I want the three tips to make up each one of these columns and so I'm gonna just double click command A and let's change the uh, typeface from Minion Pro to Avenir Next and I want this just to be Avenir Next let's make it bold for now and let's go ahead and make this ultra light italic and let's change the point size from 12 to 8 okay so that's good and then I'm just gonna do kind of uh, Let's see here, I'm just gonna do a paragraph break there and another one there, okay? And these headers here, I'm just gonna make those bold, so not ultra light, I'll make them maybe demi bold italic. That's good, demi bold italic. And normally I would create style sheets from this, or paragraph styles I should say, just so you don't have to repeat this process, but that's okay. So there we go, we have uh, all three of the, the tips. And basically now what I wanna do is go back to my selection tool, click the, um, let's see here. Let's click the text frame. And there's a couple ways of getting the text frame options. You can go up to object and then text frame options. Um, Command B also works to get your text frame options or hold down option and double click on the text frame that also brings up your text frame options so I went ahead beforehand and made my columns set before but if if at any point you had to change the amount of columns you could do that here in the text frame options as well so I can make it two if I wanted to wanted to but I'm gonna make it three and so you can do some other adjustments here but the ones the the settings that we want to focus in on now is column rules so we have our general tab and let's go to column rules and now in InDesign what you can do is add insert column rules within the individual text frame so let's go ahead and do that and as you can see I've already set them previously so here's a cool thing as well so I inserted the column rule I can adjust the length where it starts and ends together or I can break the link so I had it linked I can break the link and change them individually or link them and then kind of change them together. So if you want just a stylish shorter line, you could do that much like that. Or you can have the line adjust to maybe the starting point of the text and the ending point of the text. So that's totally personal preference. Let's go ahead and leave it like that for now. I can change the weight. I think one point is fine. I could change the color of it. So I did create a, uh, um, a swatch here. So I can go ahead and make it that color that I've created. And then I wanted it dotted, but you could change the type. You could change the type of rule that you have. I'll leave it dotted as well. Um, and then you can go ahead and just hit OK. And there you go. You have your uh, lines within your, your um, sidebar here. Then I could just go in and also change these little headers. Just for some added contrast, change the headers also to that swatch that I created, which I sampled right off of this pot here. So that's good. Now here's something to note. If I go ahead and change all of this back to black, 
the rules, oops, let's change that again. There we go, I changed it all to black, but the rules don't change, this, just the type does. So again, if you wanted to adjust the color of the rule, um, object and text frame options, and then you can change the color in column rules, okay? Right there. So I'll just leave it like that, go back to what I had, and now I'm gonna move on to this big block of text here. So this is a longer story uh, to go with my what's cooking theme here. So again, let's go ahead and click this and make the columns two. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna hold down option, double click, and let's change the columns here. So I do want two columns, okay? And here's where you can adjust the gutter size as well. So see this in the middle? If that's not enough or too much room or too much space, because oftentimes if you're putting a rule in and you already have your text set, you may want to adjust that the type gutter just a little bit so the rule isn't sitting so tight to the text. So I'm happy with 0.25, but if I wanted to increase it, you notice how the gutter is getting wider, okay? So keep that in mind when you're adding these rules within the text frames to adjust the gutter accordingly, okay? So I'll leave that, I'll go to column rules, I'm gonna turn on my insert column rules, and the, the start and end is matching up almost with my uh, story. If I wanted to increase it, let's just link them, and maybe have it closer to right to the top and bottom, like so, okay? The weight of it, I generally, if I'm working with this amount of text, um, you don't want the stroke of the um, the rule itself to be too thick. I mean, a, a quarter inch is good, or sorry, 0 0.25 is good, 0 0.5 is also fine. But I find if you start going, you know, too, it just starts getting a little too overpowering. So I'm going to leave it at 0 0.25. I usually tend to leave it black if it's if it's within a story like that. And then the type, I'm just gonna leave solid as well. And then hit okay. So as you can see now, I have rules um, in my um, little infographic here, um, sidebar, and within the actual story itself. So this is, I mean, it's not a groundbreaking, um, it's not a groundbreaking addition to InDesign, but it's something that will save you time in the long run. Just because in past you would have to actually grab the line tool and draw in your own, you would have to draw in your own rules individually, which is not a huge deal, but this saves a lot of time. And as designers, sometimes that's a great thing, right? So that's it. That's just, that's today's tutorial. One of the many additions that InDesign has added to the program. And uh, that's it. Hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye now.